this is my room. Okay, we're done. Bye. No, I'm kidding. Hi, and welcome to my room. Come on in. So the first thing you'll see when you walk into my room is my dresser. I bought this dresser last year from Ikea. I had this big, tall chest. I'm short and I didn't like it, so I wanted to get a new one, but I do not regret this purchase. So let me show you what's on my dresser. On my dresser, just have um, little, to little toys. Uh, I got this from the school I used to go to. Um, this is, you know, Miss Ed Edna, and this dog from that one movie I don't, I've never seen, Pets. When I worked at a thrift store, we could keep the toys that we found like just laying on the floor. And I mean, there was no rule, but the manager, she would say, I didn't see anything. And I gotta say this one, <laughs> this is probably the biggest thing I took. Here I have my cameras. I think my dad got this for me for my 17th birthday. This was my sister's, but she let me have it. I have my camcorder that I like to record random videos on. I like it because it just makes things feel homey. Right here, I have my jewelry that I use. I don't have my ears pierced, so I wear clip-ons. These are my most used jewelry. I'm showing my favorite earrings and my favorite pair. I bought them at the thrift store I used to work at and I would wear them all of the time. Yep. Oh, these are so fabulous. I love these ones. This one is one of my faves as well. I bought this from the beauty supply store. Then I have my nail polishes. I've been trying to grow my nails out. Um, so I bought some nail polish. Um, right here, I just have a picture of me and two of my sisters and um this picture that this uh little girl from my church drew for me so that was really cool i think she was in the fifth or sixth grade when she drew that i thought she did a great job above my dresser i have a few of my paintings i got into painting a few years ago um just for fun it's just therapeutic i don't do it to be good um I just do it for fun i put them on the wall because they're on stretch canvases i have like a lot of other paintings but they're on the, the panels so i started painting that one that face at the beginning of core core and i decided to make that face and i found this picture that i drew in my um intro to poetry class <laughs> and i was like whoa that looks just like me <clears throat> It's like, why don't I just put this on a, on a canvas? The painting isn't even done. It actually used to look a lot different, but I painted red over it. But I'm satisfied with it. And then I have this, which I painted a few months ago when my sister was here. Right here are two other paintings I did. This one was just fun. I wasn't thinking too hard. I like it. I like it a lot. And this one, I was really proud of it because usually when I paint something, it's just some randomness from my head. But I was really proud of it because I was like, oh, I could do something kind of normal <laughs> if I wanted to. I don't know. I like it a lot. It's really cute. This is kind of recent. When I make this, please tell me to put a date. August 3rd, 2020, Monday. Oh, yeah. And so I started painting this canvas blue for sadness and everything. And I mixed so many different colors together to make this blue color. I mixed like red and yellow and white and this other blue. And it made this color and I thought it was really pretty. But anyway, I just painted something based on one of my fears. When I painted this on that Monday, that day I was, I think I was really sad or angry. I was a bit weary about putting it on my wall because 
it just kind of exuded um, negative energy. But now I like it and I'm really proud of it. Under my paintings, I have these quotes. You don't write because you want to say something. You write because you have to say, you have something to say. That's Scott Fitzgerald and I love that quote. On the little message I wrote, from Hannah to Hannah, you are who you need to be. Love yourself. Next to my wall and dresser is my bookshelf, my lovely bookshelf. So this is my bookshelf and I'm really proud of it. <laughs> it's very organized. These on the top are books that are on my to be read list, but some of these books I actually already read. And then this is like my favorite books. The third shelf are books that aren't as meaningful to me as the books on the second shelf. And then these are just like random things, like important things. And then right here, I have magazines, um, movies and TV shows, and uh, two of comic books, and my CDs. So I love books and sometimes I feel like a fraud when I say that because I don't read as much as I used to but I still do read and I, I do love books. They're very meaningful to me. You know what? This is a room tour and I'll talk about these books later. <laughs> and, and, and I'll talk about my bookshelf later. I'm not gonna do that, okay? This is my piggy bank um, that I bought from the thrift store that I used to work at. I'm gonna be saying that a lot because a lot of the stuff I get are from the thrift store that I used to work at. We have this little corner. It's my um, calendar. Right here at this corner is my award. I won an award. I'm just really proud of myself because I, I never won an award. I was third place, but that's I'm really proud of myself because it was out of a lot of people. But still, I won an award for uh, a screenplay I wrote. Um, yeah, it was just very validating. I didn't know I needed that. I wrote a screenplay. I finished a story. I was really proud of myself because I finished a story that has a beginning, middle, and end. And it's meaningful too. Like, what? I did that. Thank you, God. I'm just very thankful for that talent bless me with. Here I have my desk area. It's a bit messy and that's okay. Right here I have my skincare and other important things. Just I have this where I keep colored pencils, markers, birthday cords, all these stuff. This is my little schedule and I have um, prayer requests uh, and letters I write to myself. Love letters I write to myself. And I have this Amazon Echo. I just use it to listen to music pretty much or give me a timer. This is a lamp I stole from my mom. She wasn't using it. It was just on her room, still in its package. And I was like, I'm still in this bad boy. Right here, I have my little fairy lights. I've always wanted to have fairy lights. I didn't go away for college. One of my sisters, she had fairy lights in her room and I felt like it was such a dorm staple. And yeah, I had to have it. So mine are, are red and white. Above my desk are my necklaces. I got this one from the thrift store I worked at. Um, this necklace I really like. I've never had like a nice simple necklace like this. My dad's, um, my dad's wife got it for me. And then I have this one. It has Haiti on it because my parents are from Haiti and my sister got it for me. So I really like that. I don't really wear that one because it's too long, but it's decoration. So next to my desk, I have my bed and this wall. I painted this last year. You've got this. It's really not in a good place. And I needed some encouraging, some colorful encouraging. This is my bed. I'm actually 
really not into those bedding. So hopefully I wrote, I wrote my birthday list. I'm gonna send it to my siblings and hopefully they get me the bedding that I want. After my bedding, I have a picture of me and my sister. Oh, oh another picture of me and my other Oh, and then two of my sisters. And on my bed, I have my little stuffed animals. When I was a kid, I, I had stuffed animals and I would sleep with them in my bed, but I would not cuddle them. But then when I entered college, <laughs> that's when I started cuddling with my stuffed animals. And that's when I started appreciating them more. Interesting. This is the oldest one. I've had this one since I was three. Their name is Rabbity Rabbit. Yes, I am really great at names. This one knows all my secrets. This is Sheepy Sheep. My mom got this for me. This is Berry Bear. <laughs> then my sister got me this for Valentine's Day. I haven't named this one, but I'll just call him Doggy Dog. <laughs> this one has two names, Whaley Whale <laughs> and Orca. Moving on from my bed, I have this little corner right here. I have my Bible. Um, I have my personal journal and I also have my writing journal where I try to write every single day. Um, I have this book that I've been reading very, 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 very slowly, but it's really good. And then I have my, um, prayer journal oh and then there's a dictionary moving on we have this painting that one of my older sisters got from brazil my brother always mentions how her booty's out and he is wearing all these clothes one thing that's weird to me is that she has no boobs she has no boobs so next to that painting i have pictures of me with my family and friends so yeah this is an area of my room that I will always treasure. Just having all these pictures of me with my family and friends, with just random pictures of my um, family. And like growing up, I never really had a lot of friends. I always just had my siblings, which I'm eternally grateful for. And so like as a kid, I didn't have many pictures with me and other kids, like me and friends and stuff. And so it's nice to finally have pictures with, uh, me and my friends doing fun stuff or just being weird or random, you know? And I like that. I'm really proud. Thank you, God. It's a blessing. And my art corner. Yeah, so right here I just have all of my art supplies, you know, paint, the small canvases, but also um, paint brushes, and then just random stuff. And then this right here is a painting that I'm currently working on. This is a painting that I really like. I think it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Black women are so beautiful. And I love being a black woman. And I don't know why. This just makes me feel just, just makes me feel good, you know? Oh, and then right here I have my um new gratefulness box. Next to the little corner, I have my closet. Not my closet mirror. Just have affirmations that I have on, on my wall and my mirror. I put myself down a lot, so it's good to have these. It's just uplifting. So next to my closet, this is my door. And uh, those are the bags I mostly use. Yeah, so that's my room. There are a few things that I forgot, like, oh, hey Tina Fey. Hey, queen. Hey. That book. I love that. I didn't really care for it. Oh, more pictures. <laughs> yeah, so that's my room. When we moved into this house in 2017, late 2017, the room actually used to be orange, but I painted it in the summer of 2019. And I'm really um, proud of this room. This was like my first time having my own room since middle school but even in, in middle school I didn't appreciate it that much I actually used to share a room with my sister but she went away for college and my room was always really messy 
And then in high school, we lived in a two bedroom apartment and I had to share a room with my brother. What teenager wants to share a room with their brother? And so I remember my mom saying like, Hannah, I'm gonna make sure you have your own bedroom when we move. I got to choose the bedroom I wanted. And I don't know, it's just, it's just a really safe place for me. It doesn't resemble any other part of the house. I actually kind of used to like it that it was orange because the rest of the house is really gray and black and white. And my room was just this colorful place and it still is very colorful. Um, and I, I love my room, I'm very proud of it and I'm very grateful for it. I, I usually change it up um, every few months um, I just changed it yesterday, but anyway, I, yeah, that's it, and I enjoy room tours, I hope you enjoyed the room tour and enjoyed the tiny little stories I told, um, yeah, this was really fun, like, this was actually really, really fun for me to do, so, yeah, God bless.